Hello, uh, this here looks like a little crocodile. Well, just imagine this is not a crocodile. Um, just imagine that this is the water organism Paramecium. Okay, so this is going to be my model right now. And imagine that this here this is not a Samsung Galaxy, but uh, the cover glass. Okay, and I uh, here I have an Apple iPad. Um, and uh, this one should be um, our microscope slide. And uh, basically what happens is the following. Now imagine that the, this little uh, paramecium here, this poor little paramecium is now squeezed between cover glass and the microscope slide like, like this. It's kind of sandwiched, okay? Um, yeah, and now imagine that the pressure is so high here that the poor little paramecium dies, okay? Well, this is something that uh, I'm going to show you now under the microscope. Summertime, sun is shining, temperature is warm, and I'm visiting again my little water fountain. Plenty of algae, and of course, also plenty um, of other uh, paramecia and other little water organisms. And here we've already got one. Um, yeah, uh, bright field microscope. Uh, pressed flat already a little bit because it does not move around so quickly so it's a little bit limited in its movement um, but you can see that uh, the cell organelles are all happily uh, moving around if you look very careful uh, carefully you can also see the surface uh, of the cell the, the, the little cilia the little hair they're beating you gotta watch kind of careful and here this uh, black horizontal line that you see that is the edge of the cover glass and you can already see that one of the paramecium well that's our little victim here. Um, this one is caught um, at the edge of the cover glass and cannot move away. It's trying very hard, but it's stuck. Okay, it's stuck here. Um, so it's actually not uh, very successful here. Uh, that's unfortunate. So what it decided to do, it decided to run back and forth right on the edge because that's the only movement that was still possible. Yeah, so it's trying to find a way out here, moving back and forth, trying to go the other direction here. Um, yeah, still doesn't work. Yeah, um, um, the edge of the cover glass is, is, uh, appears to be uh, quite thick uh, because of the uh, difference in refractive index. So, but yeah, you can see it's moving back and forth. Yeah, and there are also other smaller animals that have absolutely no problem of, of passing uh, this barrier. But this paramecium really is not very successful here. Yeah, he, it's giving it another try. Okay, and let's. It's a tight squeeze. Does it work? Uh, doesn't quite work. The round structure that you see inside the paramecium, that is the so-called contractile vacuole. This one is responsible for pumping water um, out of the cell. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah, here now you can see it uh, contract a little bit. It's, it's like a little water pump. Yeah, I think it's uh, slowly starting to give up here. <laughs> so I'm switching now to uh, a higher magnification to have a closer look. Yeah, here that is the edge of the cover glass and you can already see that the paramecium is not looking so healthy anymore. And that the little uh, cilia, the little hair on the surface, you can still see them move, but uh, it's not it's not it's not really healthy anymore. Uh, it's uh, the surface is starting to shrink a little bit. The cilia haven't noticed any problem yet, so they continue to beat. And if you look carefully, you can actually also see that the cilia on the surface are arranged in rows. Okay, so that's uh, it's a quite an ordered arrangement here. Yeah, so that is basically, uh, yeah, uh, the death of the paramecium, uh, almost. Uh, but uh, the cilia haven't even noticed yet that it's actually dead, you know. They continue to beat. And then all of a sudden I saw here on the side that there's some stuff oozing out here. So the cell already broke open. It's losing, it's losing its cell organelles here. So you got all of the cell organelles and all of the cytoplasm and all of this stuff kind of uh, oozing out here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, now, now it does look pretty dead. It's kind of interesting. Even, even yeah, the cell, you can actually see that it looks kind of dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving, uh, zooming out again a little bit here. Yeah, and here it is, unfortunately, our little dead paramecium. And then I saw another one, another cell, and this one also broke open, and can you b believe it? This one is really spilling its cell contents all over the place. All of those little dots that you see are all cell organelles. This, you see a, basically a cell disintegrating and falling apart right in front of your eyes. Wow, look at this. Yeah. And uh, the cilia, if you look carefully, they're also still moving the little hair. Uh, they're basically now distributing all of the cell's contents. 
Yeah, so that's a cell breaking apart uh, right in front of our eyes. And uh, the remaining cell membrane and uh, parts of the cell, they haven't even noticed that the cell doesn't even exist anymore. They continue to beat, uh, the little cilia continue, continue to beat um, and move everything away here. Yeah, yeah. Now it's starting to spin even. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fascinating to see all of these processes uh, right uh, under the microscope. If you want to see this more often, you can always uh, try to add a little bit of salt. Uh, this makes the cells shrivel up. Um, you, I tried citric acid before. You can add all sorts. Alcohol dissolves the cell membrane. So uh, lots of fun stuff that you can try out and see what happens to the cells. Yeah, and, and, and can I say something else as well uh, concerning these two little tablet PCs here? I know it's not related to microscopy, but there's something that I really don't like about them, both of them. Both of them don't have exchangeable batteries, okay? We don't have a choice nowadays. All of those uh, tablet PCs, they come with built-in batteries and both of them don't work anymore because the batteries, they died. They're perfectly fine otherwise, but just because the battery is dead, I have to throw them away and I have to buy new ones. Isn't this a pity? Um, so just like basically uh, like the little paramecium, we consumers are squeezed in between different companies that don't give us a choice. Uh, I know it's getting, I don't know. Yeah, I know it's not nothing got to do with the topic that uh, essentially perfect computers, high quality tablet PCs basically are not junk and trash simply because it's not possible to exchange the battery. That's the moral of the story here. Have a nice day. Happy microbe hunting um, and all the best. Bye bye.